So I've been studying genetic entropy for the last 13 years, and it's a really profound problem, and it's something widely acknowledged by geneticists, and it is the problem that bad mutations accumulate in the human genome. And this is best illustrated by just considering it on a personal level. In your body or in my body, we have about three new mutations every time a cell divides. So this is um, sobering because it's the reason we die. And so the reason that uh, we get old and all of our systems start to break down is because of this mutational process and the accumulation of bad mutations in our genome. It's why there's an upper lifespan. Now, the problem is bigger still, because of course we already know that we're mortal, but we transmit a certain fraction of our mutations to our children, and they add more mutations to it, and then they pass it on to their children, and then they add more mutations still, and they add it to the next generation. So this is a problem not just for people, but for the whole human race. And logically, the human race should be devolving, not evolving. Basically, the human race is degenerating. The human genome is rusting out like a car. Can natural selection solve this problem? No. Think of a room full of people. Now, kill off only the ones with the worst or most obvious mutations. What do you have left? A room half full of people that still have 60 to 100 more mutations than their parents. If everyone is multiply mutant, and if every generation is more mutant than the one before it, all selection can do is slow down the degeneration by killing off the absolute worst of the lot, but it doesn't stop mutations increasing the population over time. So genetic entropy is profound. Not only is it profound because it really has a, impacts us personally and our children and our grandchildren, it's really profound because it is lethal. It is absolutely lethal to genetic evolutionary theory because it means that things are going down, not up.